our word for today, we continue the story of Jesus. And our big message again is walk out of your prison. But before I, I read the verse to you, the passage, let me give you first a background and let me refresh you about the talk last week. And you see, before we read the Bible story today, yung background lang last week is this. So, si Joseph tsaka si Mary, they were carrying baby Jesus and they had to escape Bethlehem. Pupunta sila saan? Saan sila nagpunta? Naalala nyo ba? Sa Egypt. Some 65, my, 65 kilometers away from Bethlehem. Bakit merong gustong pumatay kay Jesus? Si King Herod. Sabi nyo nga, King Herod. And so the Holy Family stayed there. Nagtago muna sila doon kasi instruct sila ng angel pumunta doon. And then babalik lang sila kapag sinabi na ng angel ni Lord na bumalik sila sa Bethlehem. And then for three years, they stayed there in Egypt. Nagtatago. And last week, ang message natin dito, ang key takeaway natin is, Life is unfair, but God has the last say and it will be good. Sino sa'yo na bales ng talk na yun? Taas ang kamay. Ayan. This talk, this topic is semi-related to it and you will be blessed equally. But when they were hiding there, eto na. Eto na yung kasunod, yung babasahin ko. Here's what happened next. Let's read from Matthew chapter 2, verse 19 to 22. All together. When Herod died, an angel of the Lord appeared in a dream to Joseph in Egypt. Get up, the angel said. Take the child and his mother back to the land of Israel. Because those who were trying to kill the child are dead. Sabi nyo nga, Herod died. Take note, great news. Makakabalik na sila. Bakit patay na yung gustong pumatay kay Jesus? But, ito ang problema. It doesn't end there. Basahin natin yung next verse. Sabi dito, So Joseph got up and returned to the land of Israel with Jesus and his mother. But when he learned that the new ruler of Judea was Herod's son, Archelaus, he was afraid to go there. Namatay si Herod, pumalit yung anak. Here's what happened. Joseph's heart, Joseph's heart was filled with fear again. Hindi ba't ganyan minsan tayo pagka mayroong problema? Minsan katatapos lang ng isang problema, kala mo, Ay, thank you Lord, natapos na yung problema ko. Tapos bigla may kasunod. Tama ba ako? Sino nakaka-relate? Sino, uh, siguro lahat naman, di ba? Kung hindi nakaka-relate yung katabi mo, ang swerte niya, wala siyang problema. Yung ganun, ayan na naman, parang hindi na natapos yung problema. Which makes us think, why can't I catch a break? Kailan ba ako makakalaya dito sa mga problema ko? Naalala ko tuloy itong story na ito. One day, uh, a few years ago, I went to Bilibid for a prison ministry service kasama ko yung singles ministry ng Feast Alabang noon in collaboration with our friends from Singles for Christ during that time. Nagpunta kami sa Bilibid para magpa-prayer meeting, dalin si Lord dun sa loob ng preso. So, kapag ka ikaw nasa Bilibid, isa lang naman ang prayer nila. Sana lahat sila maka, makalaya. Naalala ko noon, nag-talk ako noon. So, nag- ako nagbigay noon talk eh. Sabi ko sa kanila, brothers and sisters, wag po kayong mag-alala. Hindi ko po masyadong bibili, hindi ko masyadong Tatagal na yung talk ko ngayon. Bibilisan ko lang kasi alam ko may lakad pa kayo. Nag-gets niya, joke yun eh. Joke yun, nasa preso sila. And anyway, after ko may mag-talk, may lumapit sa akin na isang preso. Tapos, siya yung parang pinaka-coordinator, yung prayer meeting leader dun sa loob ng preso. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, Bro, mag-15 years na ako dito sa loob, pero nagpapasalamat pa rin ako sa Diyos na, nat- na-, na nakulong ako. Sabi ko, grabe naman doon, nagpapasalamat ka kasi nakulong ka. Tapos sabi niya, kasi dito ko nakilala si Lord. Dito sa kulungang ito, ako tunay na nakalaya. Tapos, ito yung sabi niya, kasi bro, ang daming tao na nasa labas, pero hindi sila malaya. Nung nandun ako sa labas, malaya ako, akala ko. Pero ang totoo nun, nakakulong ako sa kung ano-anong preso ng buhay ko. And maraming mga ganun tao, nasa labas, tayo nasa labas, but many of us here, we are imprisoned by our own um, um, jail cells. Let me give you some examples. Meron mga tao, prisoner of greed. Meron ako isang tao, kaibigan, lalaki in his 40s, who was so focused on earning money. Talagang grabe magtrabaho. Ang problema ito, dahil focus siya masyado sa pera, napabaya, napabayaan yung marriage. And napabayaan yung relationships niya dito sa mga anak niya. And because all he wanted was to earn and earn, ayun na nangyari. He was imprisoned by his greed. Sa Tagalog, alipin ng salapi. 
tinan mo nga yung katabi mo, alipin ba ng salapi yan? Di ba? Minsan ganyan tayo, di ba? Pagkagising mo, so magayaw ako magtrabaho! Gusto ko maging malaya! Tapos nalala mo, ang dami mong bills. Alipin ng salapi. <laughs> Ayan. Another example is this. Some people are prisoner of their trauma. A 35-year-old woman lumapit sa akin. She's a man-hater. Pagkalapit lang sa akin, Brother, ba't gano'n? Lahat ng lalaki man, loloko. Tapos alam mo, dahil doon, man-hater siya, ayaw na niya mag-open up sa ibang mga lalaki. Tapos sabi ko sa kanya, bakit ayaw mo na mag-open up sa mga lalaki? Ang dami nang liligaw sa'yo. Sayang naman ang beauty mo. Ang sabi niya lang sa akin, Brother, di ko kasi makakalimutan ang pakit at sakit ng ginawa niya sa akin. Pinagpalit ako ng dati kong boyfriend sa mukhang kuhol. Ano yung mukhang kuhol? Fresh pa sa alaala ko ang lahat. Tapos tinanong ko siya, sino ba yan? Kailan ba nangyari yan? Sabi niya, nung grade 6 pa ako, tagal na pala. Prisoner of trauma. Some people, you may be a prisoner of death. Max out yung credit card. Meron ka kilala, umutang sa Bumbay, hinahunting siya. One day pumunta yung Bumbay sa bahay nila, sinisingil yung nanay. Sabi nung, sabi, ang lumabas yung anak, sabi nung Bumbay, nasa nanay mo? Sisingilin ko siya ng utang, pumasok yung bata. Sabi, mami, mami, yung Bumbay, nandito, hinahanap ka. Sabi nung nanay, sabi mo sa kanya, wala ako. Lumabas yung bata, sabi nung bata, wala po yung nanay ko, sabi niya. Prisoner of death. Question, what is your prison? What is your prison? Is it an addiction? Maybe some of you, you are imprisoned by your gambling addiction, porn addiction, gaming addiction. Are you imprisoned by your fear of being alone? May maraming ganyan. They are so imprisoned by their fear of being alone. That's why they are holding on to the wrong relationship until now. What is your prison? Do they believe God will set you free? And I want you to declare this to the person beside you. Tapikin mo malakas, sabihin mo sa kanya, Today, tapikin mo, sabihin mo, Today, walk out of your prison. Are you ready for God's freedom today? If so, let's pray. Close your eyes, bow on your heads. Put your hands over your heart. Say this prayer after me. Jesus, I declare, you are my freedom. I lift up to you all my prisons. Take away any fear in my heart that takes me away from your great plans for me. Liberate me so I can truly live for you. This I pray in Jesus' name.